okay so uh, in this video I'm gonna show you what are lead form extensions and uh, how you can create one in your Google Ads account so first of all let us understand what are lead form extensions so as you can see in this graphic uh, your user are gonna see these types of extension they will come up with a form and they will simply fill up the form and uh, that's how uh, they are gonna look like uh, and uh, let me create one and then I'll explain you over the way how they are gonna work so uh, in order to create one you need to simply go to ads and extensions go to extensions and then create an ad extension and then simply select lead form extension as of now it's on beta testing but you can use them let us create it on our test campaign now they are how they are gonna look so uh, they are an effective way to collect leads uh, especially if you are offering a service so for example if I am offering the service of Google Ads management then they are a great way uh, to collect the leads and uh, the user uh, do not have to land on my website uh, the user doesn't have to wait for my website to load and go see find the contact form and then fill up the long contact forms so rather than this um, we simple have at most four fields in these extensions so uh, let us create one uh, first of all uh, you need to select a call to action which will appear here so uh, as I am creating it for a Google Ads service so I will be going for contact us and uh, then uh, an extension text which will inform the user more about your extension so I will write request a call back in one hour okay so it looks more you know uh, more professional uh, and you can simply write request a callback or you can write any call to action now a headline the headline will appear here so first of all write your business name say my business name is XYZ agency and uh, then you need to write a headline a headline is a short you know description about your business so you can write something uh, award-winning Google Ads experts or you can write so you see we have a character limit of 30 or so we can write certified Google Ads experts and uh, then you can write a description about your agency or s simply uh, I will recommend you to test and try two things rather you can go for a description of your agency or you can also write a call to action regard increasing the user to fill the form so uh, what I will do is that here I'll write fill the form and we will do a and uh, request a free AdWords Google Ads account audit okay something like that so you know it is encouraging the user to fill the form and then you can ask for what are the details you need then you need to provide your privacy policy URL and it is must and then a background image uh, just select any image okay just select uh, I'm selecting a no person's image okay so that's not valid uh, so you can select any of your background image it will appear here and uh, then you need to 
uh, that's the third part so there are three parts the first part is how your extension or look on a Google search the second part is how the extension will appear in the form for form part and the third thing is what would be the uh, submission message so say uh, for example the description you can write thanks for your response and you can have a call to action you can go with visit website and you can go to download as well if you like if you offer a free book kind of thing then you can offer then you can use the download call to action and then the call to action URL so xyz.com whatever your website is and then there's this thing is lead delivery option now basically what happens the lead delivery option it is optional so as of now Google doesn't provide us the ability to send those leads to your email directly what they does is that uh, they will have all the leads in Google Ads interface only and you can download the leads from there but that is something which is not real time so it would be good if you have something you know a email notification of the lead as soon as you receive a lead here for that uh, you can create a integromat account it is free okay you can work with the free subscription I have already created an account here so all you need to go to is to go to scenarios and uh, then you need to create a new scenario herein you will select webhook and you will select email and then you will continue it uh, after that you will click here select webhooks uh, create a trigger when integromat receives data and you need to have create a uh, just give name say Google Ads and then click save here you will have your webhook URL uh, copy it and then you can paste it here in your Google Ads next is uh, you can so your webhook is set up now whatever data we receive we have to send it to the email so you need to select the email click send an email and the connection you need to establish a Google connection uh, because they will they are gonna use your Google or uh, an SMTP server I simply connect my Gmail ID with that so simply link continue and then you can of course give the permission to gmail and uh, allow integromat to compose emails from you so whenever the email is gonna come it's gonna come from the id which you have linked and then select the recipient say you your client or the email in which you need to receive the lead is say xyz at xyz dot com okay then the next thing uh, which is important is subject say google ads lead and the thing which is important is the content now in content you need to have the tags okay so for that what we need is that we need to run a test okay so click run once okay before that what I will recommend is to uh, remove the connection from email okay delete this module simply first send some test data okay we will send some data and then here run once okay you can send some again uh, send some data okay now the data has been successfully sent and the data has been 
received as well okay so after sending the data you should create the email module because then you can you know you will have all those tags so when you will okay so we have all those tags here okay we have user id column so user id column name so when so we will have content name and then you need to have this thing that is the username then enter uh, now what type of data has been sent by Google so the in first column they have sent the full name the second column it's email third column is phone and fourth column is postal code same way you are gonna do this type second column is email so you need to go here select this and then make it column data 2 okay mm, sorry you need to select the string value so you need to go here and select string value 1 and similarly you need to go and here select string value and change this value to 2 which is our email third is our phone again go here and select the string value which is third and the fourth one is our postal code usually I don't recommend a postal code but if you need the postal code then it's okay I usually don't recommend having a postal code in a Google Ads lead form and then again we need to again have a recipient uh, so we will have this connection then we will have a recipient say xyz at xyz dot com add it and uh, or we can use the you know we can use the same email it's brianflat12 at gmail dot com so we will receive our email to this email only so that we can check it as well dot com and uh, click it save we have everything we have google ads lead and then simply click ok now again run once and uh, send some test data test data has been sent and now we will see that they have also send the email okay so now we will see opening our gmail that whether we have received the lead or not and see uh, we have received the leads google ad lead and see we have the name we have the email we have the phone and we have the postal code which has been received from our own email id so that's how you can uh, you know get all the google ads leads from the leads from real time to your email and then you need to simply key is something which uh, Google wants a value as of now I am writing it none and it is used to you know verify that the webhook data is being sent by Google so simply write it here none or if you have a key you can of course write it here and then click save now okay we need a privacy policy URL so we can go with xyz.com slash privacy so and the image is we can uh, so it needs so we can add some you know random image so that's a random image I'm adding as of now I will recommend you to have your logo or a background image so that's a random image which I have added okay so that's how a background image looks like and then simply click save
and that's how uh, you know your uh, Google Ads extension will look like it's under review and uh, you can of course download the leads directly from here and also leads are gonna send to your Google Ads and they are really good okay so currently they are in the beta test we are also testing it and let's see how they are gonna perform so if you have any question uh, leave it in the comment section don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you are facing any difficulty for your Google Ads you can uh, find the link to my profile in the description below and you can hire me directly if you need any Google Ads help or consultancy. Yeah, thanks for watching.